So this is not a barbecue vlog, but it is a food vlog. We're here at Grimaldi's, which uh, there's Todd right there. See him. Uh, which I believe is the last New York pizza place left in Wisconsin. If there are others, let us know in the comments. Because um, Pizza Day Roma closed, much to my chagrin. And, um, I w yeah, I wanted some New York pizza, and I was going to stop here on the way home, and then I found out Todd was in town, so I, uh, I kidnapped him and took him here. His pizza will be here in a minute. I, I got a big one because I was planning on taking it home. Um, and this is, yeah, this is food for, like, a couple, couple days' worth, even though it's thin, so it's not terribly filling, but, you know. Um, we'll see what Todd's looks like in a minute when it gets here. I always get the largest one anyways, because if you're going to get a New York slice, it's supposed to be big and floppy. Um, yeah, we'll see Todd's when it gets here in a minute, and uh, I'm going to keep talking and see if it shows up, and if not, we'll start with new footage. Yeah. So Todd's got more vegetables on his. He's being healthier than me today. He's also got sausage. It looks like what? Sausage, onions, and what? Tomatoes? Uh, red peppers. Red peppers. Okay, well, we'll each. So, I'm a pizza snob, as many of my friends know. I take very seriously the differences in pizza. They say that the difference with New York pizza comes from the water used in making the crust, and some of the places even import the water from New York. It's just, it's about having crust that is, like, it's not as crispy as Chicago-style thin crust. It's not as thick and floppy as pan crust. It's right in between. You gotta use fresh mozzarella, and there's a very thin layer of sauce, and the toppings are on top. So, and you're not supposed to eat it with a knife and fork. That's, that's sacrilegious. So, we will uh, follow up in a few. So, I like New York style pizza, which is why I came here, and Grimaldi's is one of the original, so I mean, I can't say any really thing about it other than that. I tried the spicy sauce, chicken sausage for the first time today, and I'm not crazy about it. I think I'll stick with my usual next time, which is just pepperoni and regular Italian sausage. What do you think, Todd? What you got? This is excellent. The sauce is light flavorful. It's not too sweet. Um, the toppings are all really fresh. The mozzarella is fantastic. It tastes, it tastes homemade, and I got that vibe from it when I was tasting the caprese salad earlier. Um, the mozzarella is really, is really fresh and it has good texture. This is this, this is a series this is a series pizza restaurant. I'm very impressed with this. I'm good. I'm glad Todd likes it. Um, again, I would I would hope. If you, anyone who likes New York style pizza should like this. Not everybody likes New York style pizza. If I had to pick one style of pizza to eat for the rest of my life, it would be New York. But I hope I never have to make that choice because pizza is one of the few foods that I can eat regularly without getting sick of it. And I like. New York thin, uh, th uh, thin crust, Chicago thin crust, which is more of a cracker crust cut in squares. Um, New Jersey, which is, we have a place called Salvatore's Tomato Pies. I think we did a location there. And it's a little, it's a thicker crust, and then the sauce is swirled on, and then the toppings are on top. And it's very similar to New York. Detroit-style pizza, which is squares with, like, a thick crust. Um, we have Rocky Rococo and Madison, and Jets is is a Detroit chain and so is Buddy's. Um, uh, Chicago Deep Dish, which is like Pizzeria Uno or Lou Malnati's where you've got the thick crust and then you have the toppings and sauce. And then there's stuffed pizza, which is like a Giordano's where you have a layer of crust, layer of toppings, layer of sauce, layer of cheese, repeat. And there's, you know, and Todd and I have had that before as well, I think. I know we got it from uh, Pizza... It's a pizza. I don't remember. We've been to Giordano's together? I don't think we have. Well, when we go to Rockford, that's the closest one. We'll have to go and see Rick and stop at Giordano's. Um, I've been to Giordano's, but with, oh. uh, with, other, with someone else. Well, then never mind. We got it covered. Um, yeah, so I... The only style of pizza that I, and then there's uh, there's Sicilian pizza, which is similar to Detroit, and then there's Neapolitan style pizza, which is similar to New York. Neapolitan is closer to what you actually get in Italy. Um, New York is the closest to like actual Italian pizza, but it's still different from Neapolitan pizza. Anyhow, the only style of pizza that I don't like 
is pan style pizza because that was invented by Pizza Hut. And in my opinion, anything that's invented by a major chain after they're a major chain is not a real variation of something. So yeah, I'm, I'm against pan style pizza, but if you want pan style pizza, New Jersey is similar and Detroit is similar and deep dish is similar. They're all cooked in a pan, so. Um, anything you want to add now that I've nerded out about pizza? Okay. Well, I'm gonna have at least one more slice and then take the rest home. Um, so this has been another update of Dan and Todd's food vlog. Hopefully we'll get to some barbecue soon. We skipped last week, our schedules were too hectic. I gotta, I'm, actually when I stop filming, I'm gonna look at the calendar and see what I got this week and we'll see what Todd's got. So, hope you'll see us again soon. Thanks for watching.